beginning. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good hello, evening, hello. Sir. Welcome, welcome. I can see Juan Fernando, Daniel, Norma, and Aiden. Good to see you once again. Let's wait a little bit for the rest of the participants. <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, um, teacher. Marlin, good evening. Good evening, classmates. Good evening, Aidan. Aidan says good evening to everybody. Everyone here. Jose will be as a listener. Okay, good evening, uh, Jose. I read that you are over here as a listener. Don't worry, okay? <clears throat> Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good to see you here. Now, Cristobal is just getting into the class once again. Yesterday, you created your own business, right? I saw La Bolsada there, and the, what was Pupushawa was the other one, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So let's wait a little bit more. It's two minutes after after eight. Well, yes, I will I will checklist attendance. Then we're go, going to start with something over here. We have a lot of work to do tonight. And um, well, I will check also about the midterm. I hope you already finished your midterm. So that tomorrow I, I I I can upload or I can create the, the report about your your grades. Aidan is over here. Aidan Belen. Present teacher. Okay, Aidan, welcome. Daniel. Edgar, Gladys, Jonathan, Jose Daniel, I know Jose Daniel is over here, Juan Fernando, Maria Elba, Mario Cristobal, Berenice, present teacher. Hello, Bernice. Merlin? Stay. Present teacher. Okay, Michael. Aníbal. Xiomara. Present teacher. Hello, Xiomara. Eh, Ronan. Teresa. Vera Liz. Angelsi. Okay, so Gladys say hello to everyone. She's so here also, Ronan, Daniel. Uh, Daniel, are you having any problem with, with, your, with your microphone? Let me know about it, okay? Okay, people, give me a second, please. So be ready. Because tonight, as I told you, we're going to practice a lot. So Vera, let's get into the class. Give me a second, please.
All right, so uh, 12 people connected. So we're, we are going to start with the activities. All right. Okay, Jose, I cut it. So, hey, tonight we're gonna we're gonna learn. This is our main topic, right? How to just cool and good your mind. This is what we're gonna be in church of. But previous to this part, you know, because this one belongs to the week to the third week right the topic we are discussing tonight belongs to the week number three and this is the midterm so we're gonna start with the midterm well actually i think we we need to start with the last exercise from the from the section number two right So that um, we in practice and over here, this is what we were uh, working yesterday, right? Okay, so this is the last part of unit of of the second week. Can you listen to me, people? Hello, 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 hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, now can you listen to me? Um, a a little oh, bit. Okay. Okay, so. Now, this is the activity number 10. From uh, the second week. And it says, double check if the following are right or wrong. They, they must be in simple past. Were he in London? Is it correct? Wrong. Is, is, is the, Incorrect. Is the, what is the problem with this? Um, but, but you say wrong. Okay, so it's wrong, wrong, wrong. But what is the problem with it? Falta un auxiliar. Ah, what is the auxiliary? What is, yeah. Okay, so the problem is that we're not, we do yeah. not have the auxiliary deal. Uh -huh. And then? Yeah. Um, what did color? he? Did he? Work. 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 Oh, sorry. Work. Okay, did he work in London? In London, in London, in London. So, in London, question mark. So, pretty good. So, that's all right. No observations at all. No, right? Any observation? Any observations? If, if I If I do like, no problem over here. No problem over here. No problem over here. Now I say, is there any problem in this one? Yes or no? You say it's wrong, right? This one is wrong. Now, but why do we have double, double past over here? Uh, present. The bird is present. Yeah, the bird needs to be in the, in the base form. Okay, remember about it. 
Did he, did, did he work in London? Mm -hmm. So remember about it. All right, now, yes, I think it's better, right? Mm -hmm. Now okay. let's go over the next one. Did he wrote a letter? No, yes, it's okay, right? Esta sí está bien. A mi parecer está bien o tiene algún defecto. ¿Qué han pasado, bro? El, el right. Ok. Yo le pusiera este. ¿Cuál le pusieron <laughs> ustedes? Wrong. So it's wrong. So estoy equivocado yo. ¿Por qué me equivoco entonces? <laughs> oh, the teacher is wrong. Se equivoca el teacher. So, ¿por qué no me ayudan a corregir mi error? Where is the problem over here? The bear is great. great. Did, did he write a letter? Uh, did he write a letter? <laughs> good. Why it good? So it's wrong, right? It is wrong. What about number three? He didn't write. Wrong. Wrong? Wrong. Wrong? Mm. Wrong. Yeah, okay. So listen, when you find out, cuando encuentren palabras con la W acá y de luego la R como wrong or right, wrong. Vamos a, la W no suena, ¿ok? No suena wrong, wrong or right. Sí, you say wrong. He didn't wrong. write a letter. Ah, he didn't write a letter. It's the best. It is, it is the correct way. He didn't. Write a letter. Write a letter. All right, a letter, good. He didn't write a letter. So that's better, right? Number four. Right. They were told night. Esta sí está equivocada, ¿ok? En serio. Just tell me. Si me equivoco yo, ustedes digan. It's right. Uh, are you sure? When sure. Hasta aquí voy a poner para que, para que me ayuden a correr. I didn't. So, right or wrong? They work it all night. They work it all night. Right or wrong? Right. No. Uh -huh. Wrong. They work it all night. Probably. Hola. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. So for me, so it's wrong. They work it all night. <laughs> Para mí, yo aquí lo voy a poner que está mal. Porque no me ayudan a corregir. They work it all night. Right or wrong? They... Wrong. They did. So, but, they, but, but, no, listen they, to me. They work it all night. What's the problem? They did work all night. They do. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> they do. They did. A blue. Now, help, help me. They work it all night. Blue. What's the problem there? They no do. problem. Right. But vean ambas, por favor, y díganme dónde está el error. They work it all night. They work it all night. 
In the pronunciation. Ah, Michael got it. Excellent, Mike, uh, uh, Michael. Yeah. So what's the problem with my pronunciation? <laughs> Just, ya ven que si sí había algo que corregirme. Yeah. What's the problem, Michael? Uh, ah, the ED was Working. mispronounced, right? Uh -huh. They worked Question. all night. Okay? They worked yeah. all night. Now, yes, it's okay. They Love worked it. all night. <laughs> So, si están seguros que la estructura está bien, que hay otra cosa que no está, que no suena bien o que... Vamos a ver. She, he invests a lot of money. He invests a lot of money. Right or wrong? It's wrong. What's the problem? Is invested in business. Yeah, the the end needs to be because it's regular, right? Because it is regular. So it is invested. Okay. Okay. Now simple like that. Actually, you did a great job. And we had our review now. We're gonna go over the midterm. Todos al midterm, especialmente los que no lo han terminado, porque necesito que terminemos con el midterm. De hecho, um, necesito que todos tengan ya su 100% acá. So lo vamos a hacer, lo vamos a desarrollar un poquito rápido. Solo son cuatro partes cortitas ok uh, lo vamos a chequear y luego vamos a continuar con el tema de esta noche ok pero sí, por favor quiero eh, estar seguro de que efectivamente ustedes han terminado con su midterm ok so first part we have uh, we have to choose right between correct or incorrect similar to the one we we did just just right now my company delayed to ship the package correct or incorrect this is the midterm people midterm midterm we are here okay we are at the end of the section number two midterm my company delayed to ship the package. Correct or incorrect? Hello, hello, hello. Correct. It is correct. Okay, so let us try to do it a little bit quickly. We exist to bring in the telecommunication solution for businesses in rural, rural areas. Correct or incorrect? Hello, hello. Incorrect. So what's the problem with the number two? And to bring. Ah, uh, we need an to infinity bring. to bring. So this is not correct. Number three. My company's vision is to becoming the most prefer hair salon for a dollar cents. Correct or not correct? Correct or not correct? Daniel, Edgar, Gladys, Mario, correct. Merlin, uh, Michael, Norma, Ronan, Vera Liz, please do the favor to help everybody Three. here. Three, it's same. The, the second. It is it, not correct. Not correct. So, but what is, okay, but what is the problem? The bird. The bird, my uh, company's vision is 
the most preferred hair salon for adults. Okay. So mm, the yeah. infinitive. Before so to become, before. right? To become the most preferred. Okay. Let's see, it was okay. not correct. Hey, what happened to him? So number four is accountable for sell products at the warehouse, sales, selling, or for to sell. Hello, hello. For to sell. For to sell. What is this? Infinity. Ah, ah really? <laughs> and what is this? I mean, because we said that to become is an infinity, and this one for sale is an infinity. What is this? I mean, for feeling. Do, do you remember we started something that we called prepositions? prepositions. Okay, so prepositions. And what was the rule? What was the rule? After a preposition, what do we need? Puedo omitir el to. Not because. Uh, <laughs> tell me tell me the rule please after yeah. preposition what is the verb form that we need to use yeah. mm -hmm. ing uh, so what's the answer yeah. feeling huh? for feeling selling selling for selling the products at the warehouse number five who is in charge of Assist the customers, assisting to assist or assisting to. Assisting. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. So look at the answer. We're going to see what's going on over here. You see, all of them are all right. So we're going to go to the second part a little bit quickly because time is running. Okay, vamos a trabajarlo un poquito más rápido. No nos vamos a entretener mucho, so porque solo queremos estar seguros que todos lo han terminado. A product rate as five of the most popular in the United States is rated, is running, is rated. Right. It's right. Number one, two, or three? Number one. one. No, okay, one. so how do you pronounce this? Right. Right? Right. Y, y la regla que aprendimos de pronunciación? <laughs> right? Right. Rated. It's rated. Remember? Right. Okay, so have some review on how to pronounce regular verbs. Our regional managers consider as the most efficient in the company. Has considered, are considered, are considered. Consider. Has considered. Is this are the best option? Are considered? No. This one? No, uh, number three. The last one? Yes. Okay. But why do you think this is the best option? Porque esta es la mejor opción. Our regional managers are considered. Because, uh huh. We have passive voice, right? Remember, passive voice. 
And in the passive voice, we need the verb to be and the other verb in the past participle form. Okay, so that that is the the reason. Now, number three, this brand see as the leader in the fashion industry. Are seen, is so, is seen. One, two, or three. Anybody in the group? Is so. Is so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what is the role for passive voice? Me van a dictar cómo es que formamos voz pasiva. Okay. What's the way we form passive voice? What do we need? The, this brand, this brand, aha, uh -huh. is so, mm -hmm. is so, so, as the leader. And we're going to start there, as the leader. Is it correct? Or do we need to see? Uh, Correct or incorrect? In the... What is the problem then? So if you see a problem, let me know about it. This? Uh, no, it's not this a problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Just let me know it. Where do you see the, the where do you see the mistake? This brand. Is so as the leader. Don't you think that over here we have the problem? Where? That is the problem because we need past participle. Seen. Seen as the leader. Um, yeah. Okay. See, it's seen, passive voice, past participle. And number four, if you are a leader, you show what? If you are a leader, you show what? Leadership. 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 If you are lawyer, you show loyalty. Loyalty. Good, that was okay. We learned. We're gonna see. Wow, we did it, right? So we don't have any problem over here. Loyalty leadership. So third part, in a very quick way. We use a passive when we don't want or need to specify who did the action. True or false? True. True. We use the verb be in the past and the past participle to form the passive. True. True. You can omit who did the action when you're using the passive. You can omit who did the action when you're using the passive. True. The telecommunications industry, guided tours, buildings, hair salon services, medicine, or mobile phones. Mobile phone. The pharmaceutical industry. 
Medicine. Medicine. Okay. That's it. So we did it once, once again. So we forgot about this one, right? Yeah, it was my mobile phone. That is there. In the last part, we are we're gonna be done with this. Okay, tell me the the sentence, please. Tell me the question. What does what does this this my chain do? Excellent. Tell me the number two. <laughs> Who does she meet? Does she meet on Saturday? All right, number three. How many people does she supervise? Good. How many people does does she supervise? Number four. Did the new assistant call the office? Yes, she did. Yes, she, yes, she did. does, or yes, she is. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Right, simple. If you are as, if you are. Ah, a simple past, so you need to answer, with, but using simple past also, that is not, it is not complicated. Did the employees get fired? No, they did. No, they didn't. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. No. Now, Cristobal. Did what is ah. what is this tense, Cristobal? <laughs> what is this tense? ¿Cuál es, ¿En qué tiempo está la pregunta? Paz. Paz. And what about the answer? ¿En qué tiempo está la respuesta? Siempre el present. Ah, ¿será que estos dos pueden ir acá? No, no. No, right? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. So you need to be careful. Oops. No, they didn't. So no, they didn't. Simple pass, right? Well, this one, you know, we did we did it orally, so there's not any problem. So well, actually, this is the midterm. Quite easy, right? Very simple. Okay. Now, yes, we're gonna get. Down to business, we're gonna stop here. And now, yes, you are going to uh, present your company. Yesterday, you started with it, right? Today, you have a new opportunity to continue doing so. But I need volunteers, okay? I need volunteers. I know that you have prepared a, a, a really nice presentation on the company you created about Pupushawa and also the, the there's a, there was another store uh, there was a store there Borsal no what, what what was the name of the company <laughs> Michael La Bolsada era ah okay La Bolsada right Okay, so now you have a new opportunity to let us know about it. Okay, who's going to present? Who's going to present La Bolsa in, in Pupushawa? <laughs> okay, because if, I... if who, who, Merlin? Yeah, I okay, see. Merlin. Now go ahead, Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, um, mm, Profe, yo creo que no, 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 no avanzamos porque no nos pudimos sí. comunicar mm -hmm. todo el tiempo. Uh, was it, was ah. it difficult? Okay. Why don't we leave it for Monday then? Do you think it would be all right? ¿Lo podemos dejar para el lunes? ¿Les parece? Mm, sí. Sí. Okay, pretty good. Now, yes. don't worry, because I have over here something for you. Now, what are we going to do, people? Vamos a, vamos a ver algo por acá. 
y ustedes me van a ir ayudando también. Bueno, ustedes vayan identificando en qué estructura, información, vocabulario, etcétera, que podamos sacarle ventaja a esto. Ok, I have this presentation. Ok. You know that company, right? Do you know that company? Yes or no? Apple. Yeah, yes, right? Apple. So I think everybody knows about it, right? So we're going to see some info over here. This is like the story of the company. Okay, can somebody help me to read? Apple, I see, <clears throat> uh, formerly Apple Computer INC, is an American multinational corporation that thinks of the cell consumer electronic computer software and personal computer. Personal computer. Hey, you can create your own questions, right? You can create questions from this info. You can uh, see the grammar that that's in the um, in the presentation, etc. History. Can somebody help me to read the history? Uh huh. Fernando, you can continue. Okay. <laughs> in, in, in 1975, Steve uh, who has working for HP, B, B3, and was a computer hobbyist, B9. Okay, remember, this is by. By. Sorry. Right. Okay, it's all right. Okay, continue, please. She realized the that price of some computer parts had gotten of low. He called by them himself. Himself, sorry. Okay. Dedicated to work with fellow hobbyists, hobbyists, Steve Jobs, to building their own computer. Computer. Mm -hmm. On January 4, 1976, released the Apple One for uh, okay. <laughs> and the start Apple computer. Okay. Ok, no, listen, why did I choose this presentation, people? ¿Por qué estoy solicitando que leamos? Es porque quiero ver qué tanto hemos internalizado o hemos adquirido, pues, la, la pronunciación que hemos venido estudiando y también ir verificando alguna, algunas fortalezas, porque si ustedes se fijan, este, pues, él, eh, eh, Fernando lee muy bien, Pero todavía hay que fortalecer, Fernando, algunas sí. cosas, ¿ok? Eh, si todavía tenemos problemas con pasado de verbos regulares, sigamos practicando, sigamos buscando información. Con los números, por supuesto que también hay que hacerlo. Si okay. es posible, eh, asegúrense que ya manejan números hasta un millón. Okay. 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 Very good. Next part. Okay. Alguien más, porfa. Necesito que alguien más ayude a leer. Me, 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 me. Okay, Michael. In, in nineteen seventy. Oh, sorry, Michael. Seven, se... mm -hmm. Michael, go ahead, please. Okay, okay. 1977, Apple, Apple 2 was released for one 
1298 are color graphic and a feel for personal computer. Originally used an audio cassette drive storage but later it was replaced by a floppy disk drive HAL 64 a TV and memory supported the basic program but it, the basic program, basic, okay. Basic. Okay, so let's continue, basic. Michael, practicing, okay, once again. <laughs> let's continue practicing, <laughs> pronunciation okay. of verbs. Okay. But as you can see, you have improved a lot, right? Now let's go to the next one. And I need somebody else to read it. I will have somebody in here. Aníbal? Hi, teacher. Hello. Do me the favor to read. Uh, Apple Tree was released on my uh, 1980. Had uh, 110. 28 of rank design for business expensive uh, uh, for Josan to Tosan uh, uh, three $300 had lots of problem. Lots of problem. Okay. Was released. Okay. Okay. Okay, let us continue practicing, please. Okay. Apple, uh, Lisa was released in 1983, became the first personal computing sold to the public with GUI, aimed at the large businesses commercial failure due to high price tag almost Almost what? Ten thousand dollars and limit and limited equal run. Yeah, so I read that one. I'm helping you a little bit. Let's go over to the next. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else, please. Introducing of Machintosh. Apple introduced Machintosh in 1984. Sold for $2,495. Sales not in initially as strong as decided as desired decided and decided. now listen carefully okay because i can notice that we still have problems with the pronunciation of regular verbs in the past form so mm -hmm. do me the favor because next week i will ask you La próxima semana les voy a pedir a algunos que nos, que nos presenten las reglas de cómo pronunciar los verbos regulares. Todos deben de estar listos, ¿ok? Yo voy a elegir tres personas que nos, que nos expliquen, ¿ok? Cómo identificar la, la pronunciación de los verbos regulares en pasado. Esa es la primera tarea. ¿Ya lo vimos, teacher? ¿Me puede decir alguien? Sí. Pero necesito que lo, lo vuelvan a investigar. ¿Ya lo vimos en clase? 
eh, observo alguno que otro error todavía, entonces quiere decir que necesitamos seguir estudiándolo. More practice. Yeah, more practice. Apple's first attempt at a portable computer released in, in 1989, $6,500, 8 MB RAM, and that's it, right? Let me see, because, okay. Can somebody help me to read? <laughs> the first one? Nineteen ninety eight. Nineteen ninety eight. Tell me the year. This year. Two thousand one. Two thousand one. Two thousand one. Two thousand three. Two thousand seven. Okay. Introduces. Introduced. Introduced. Okay, so actually, well, we have more there, right? But we're going to stop it over here. We're going to stop it, okay? Because, you see, I, I will share it with you so that you can you can see the information because we have a, a white. I chose a white information over here. I chose this one because this, this is like an example. Remember that I told you, right? I told you to investigate about, about a company, okay? The purpose for choosing this PowerPoint presentation was in that sense. Que tuvieran una, un ejemplo de cómo pueden hacer uh, su presentación. Recuerden que ayer estuvimos eh, hablando un poco acerca de, de diferentes compañías. Y lo pudieran retomar en caso alguien nos sorprenda la otra semana con una presentación o eh, con, con, con más vocabulario aprendido acerca de una X compañía. Okay? Now, we're going to get down to business with the topic we are in church of working tonight. We're going to see the info here. And we have some practice. At the end of this session, we're going to be able to maple light request at the workplace. Question, do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? Question, people. Do you usually help your co-workers with, with their task? Yes, I do. Do you often ask co-workers to help you with your task? That's the other one, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, okay. I do. Now, when asking for help or, or when, when helping, what kind of expressions do you use? When asking for help or when offering help, what kind of expression do you use? Uh, WH. Expressions? I mean, they need to be polite. When, when, you, when, you, help, when you ask somebody to help, you with a, with an activity you you use polite requests right polite requests such as could you print oh, the no, budget polite could you print well we're gonna we're seeing this info in a page 29 okay 29. You will see like the, the, the beginning of the information we're studying tonight. Could you print out the budget file? What is it? What is this this lady doing? She is what is she doing? She is requesting. 
but she requesting in a very polite way. Could you print out the budget file? Then her co-worker say right away, Rita. Uh, that this is one option. Second option. Would you mind opening the window? Sure. No problem. So what well, is as you can see, there are some differences, right? When you use school, you use bay form, print out. When you use your mind, you have ing form. So this is something that you need to keep in mind. Now, let's see, I have some 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 more info. Look. What would it be the expression you 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 would create? Could you or would you mind? Could you or would you mind? Look. Van a crear una, una oración dependiendo la necesidad que surge acá, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, I am hungry. I will. Le van a pedir a alguien con amabilidad que les traiga algo de comida. Busquen en internet si, si así lo prefieren. Call you bring. Call you bring. Call you, call you bring. You bring a sandwich. <laughs> Would you bring me junk food? So you bring some junk food when coming back, okay? Pero si usan would you mind? ¿Cómo lo harían? My... ¿Cuál? My you. No, I mean, would you mind? Ah, oh, okay. Con would, would you. Ya hicieron con could. Could you bring some... What what do you say? Could you bring some some food? Would you mind bring uh, sandwiches? Okay, now would you would you mind bring? Now that's what you need a custom to do. What once again? What do you see over here? What's the difference when you say could you? Then you have base form, but when you have would you mind? Then you have. I just So let's see once again. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's try with number two. Create two 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 requests, please. That dog needs a walk, but I haven't got time. How would you request for help? Hello? Hello, hello? Walk. Could you? Could you? Could you walk the dog, please? Would you mind walking the dog? Okay, so those are the two options. Let's see. We're going to solve only five. Uh, number three. The TV is too loud. Okay, what would you say? How would you request somebody to decrease the volume of the TV? ¿Cómo le pedirían a alguien que le bajara volumen a, a la televisión? Would you mind uh, slow the radio? Decreasing the volume to the TV. Decreasing the volume to the TV. Uh -huh. Could you please 
decrease the volume of the TV. Number four, there's someone at the door. What would you say? ¿Cómo le pedirían a alguien que le fuera a abrir la puerta a alguien que está tocando la puerta? Would you, you open the door? Would you mind open the door, please? Could you open the door? Hey, would you mind opening the door, please? Open. Opening. Okay. Number five. I want to drink. I want to drink. I want to drink. Would you mind uh, something uh, drink? Would you mind something drink? No, but, but you are requesting, right? Usted, está, usted va a solicitar que alguien le lleve algo de tomar. Ah. ¿Cómo lo haría? Would you mind uh, bring, 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 uh, would you mind, uh, no. <laughs> bring him some soda. <clears throat> would you mind drinking to me? Bring coffee some soda. soda to me, some <laughs> coffee to me, some water to me, etc. Right? Okay. okay. Now, so let's see if we if we can do some other here. It's hot in here. It's hot in here. What would be a request? Yeah, hot is is here. Yeah. It's hot in here. ¿Qué solicitarían? It's hot in here. Would you mind, could you? Would you mind? Would you mind on the phone? Would you mind? Would you open mind your own, uh, the fun? opening the door, opening uh, the window? Okay. Would you mind turning on the fans? Would you mind? Or could you open the window? Okay. Good. Number seven. The bags are too heavy. <laughs> Would you mind to help me? <laughs> uh, okay. Would you mind? Listen carefully because when you, you when you use would you mind to remember that you need to use ing form. You can say would you mind to help me? No. Would you mind helping me? Or could you help me, please? Now let us start with number eight. I haven't got any money for the bus. Could you mind? Could you? Could you? Could you, could you, could you mind? No, it's an expression. We have two expressions. Could you or would you mind? Would you mind? Uh-huh. Would you mind? Would you mind? Read me money. I don't have a good money for a bus. Would okay. you give me a quarter? A quarter? A qu okay. <laughs> <laughs> Could you give me a quarter? I forgot <laughs> my wallet. I have no money at all. Excellent, pretty good. Could you could you hear me right? 
Ah, all right. What about number nine? I can't find my phone. I can't find my phone. Could or would you mind? Both can be used, useful, right? But let me know the, the request. Would, would you mind look, looking my phone? Would you mind helping me to look the phone or would you mind? Um, I, 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 I lost my phone. Could you help me to, to find it? Okay, could you? Could and would you, you mind? help me find it? Yeah, could you help me find Profe. it? Hello? Pero según entiendo, cuando usa would, este, tendría que usarse en forma ing. Yeah. Super. Yeah, would you mind helping me to find my phone? It's because uh would you mind finding my phone it would be like better like if you say helping me to find ayudarme a encontrar okay. but, but actually you can say hey would you mind finding my phone yeah i mean it's all right it is okay <laughs> it is okay okay no problem <laughs> It all depends on the context, right? Number 10. It's too dark. Would you mind light, lighting the lamp? Turn on light. Uh, would you mind turning on the lights? Could you turn on the lights? Okay, very good. <laughs> now, now we got some idea about what we are studying. <laughs> the night. Okay? So we got the idea. We got the idea and that's important. Okay. So we're going to study a little bit about it. Mm, this info is in Spanish. So I will share I, I will only share this this link in the in the group so that you can study the info because I can see that it has some information in Spanish. We can read we can read uh, the examples. So here is because I got the same info, but in English. And but we have, could you please turn on the light? Ah, uh, similar to the one that you discovered there. Miren, ahí está la que la que acaban de, de crear ustedes. Would you please yeah. turn on the light? That's a different way, right? Would you please? But over here we are not using would you mind? Okay, that's what you need to be clear. If you say, would you mind? So if, if we had, would you mind here? Would you mind turning on the light? But since we don't have mind, we only have, would you please turn on? Okay, so that's different. Would you turn on the light? Could you turn on the light? Okay, and we have some others on here. I shared, I shared, the link because I consider that the more info we have and the more exercises we practice will be uh, will be better. Okay. Now, hello. Igual con el verbo could, eh, con el modal could, el verbo va en forma base. Yeah. Could you please turn on turn on the light? Yeah. Okay, okay. Now look at this. This is this is the exercise. 
I, I got this exercise. Now, do you mind the broken chair? Do you mind what? Fixing or fix? Do you mind? Fix. Fixing or fix? Fixing. 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 Yeah. Would you mind if I didn't join, don't join you tonight? Didn't join. Didn't join. Don't 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 join. Stay. Stay. Do you mind if I stay? Good. Would you mind if you? Thank you. Would you mind if you? Painting. 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 <coughs> Do you mind? Take or taking? Do you mind take or taking my car to the service? Taking. Taking. And would you mind passing or pass? Passing. Do you mind if I don't come or didn't come early tomorrow? Don't come. Don't come. Would you mind sending a letter? Sending. 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 Do you mind if you turn, turn or turn? Turn. Would you mind Daniel's watching or watch TV here? Watching TV. Watching. Watching TV. I will, let me see if we can see what. We, we have some problems, right? So we got eight correct, but we've, we had some problems, okay? So I will share. The problem was with you. Would you mind if I? Didn't. Didn't, didn't didn't join you to tonight. And the other one, would would you mind if if you painted the fences? We're gonna submit once again and let we we're gonna see. Now yes, right? Okay, so this was another exercise, right? We're gonna see. So more info. And let me see. Now I see. I will share this with you. I will get back here. Okay, so. In, in the information that we have here, we're gonna work with, with the activities we have here. Think of five requests you need to ask in your workplace. Compare your list with others. Okay, now you're gonna you're gonna be giving uh, five minutes, okay, to create some requests, five requests. One, two, three, four, five requests that you use uh, at your workplace, place. use request as a verb, as some something politely. Request is a request a new form, please. Use request as a noun. 
Now need something asked for my boss. Usually has many requests for me. Well, this is extra info, right? So, but what I want you to do is to, to let us know about some requests that you usually put into practice in your workplace. Okay? So, do me the favor. I need five, at least five. One, two, three, four, and five. Five requests, please. I will give you five minutes, people. Five. Remember, this is in the page number 29.
Okay, did you create the, the request that you usually use uh, in your workplace? Request number one. Okay. Could you give him the can you give me the cost for the week? Could you give me the cost for the, the week? The cost of the week. Okay. Could you give me? Okay. Number yes. two. Yeah, thank you, Fernando. Do you have another one, Fernando? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, could you give in the... Uh, what do you say? Uh, could you... Deliver the butchers to me, please. Could you deliver the butchers to me, please? Could you deliver or uh, would you mind delivering, right? Remember that you, we can use both, right? Yes. Quite good. What about, do you have another one? Hi, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Would you mind bringing bring, uh, Would you mind bringing me the ma materials? Bringing me the material. Bringing me the materials. Yeah, mm -hmm. listen. I think it, it would be really nice if we go to. Tell me the other one, please, Merlin. Ah. Uh, would you mind um, buying me the safety helmet? Okay. Other. Could you send an email the stuff? Okay. Um, Could you email the stuff? Yes. Uh, only only three only three well it's all right anybody else me <laughs> okay fernando will you, will you mind would you mind giving me the keys to the truck the keys to the truck good yeah be careful <laughs> now let us see some examples that you can use right others that are presented in this, right? You can read the info in Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. No, but but listen, listen. Uh, in this case, the in in the imperative light, turn down the light. This is what is this, people? Se recuerdan cómo se llama esto? Se llaman imperatives. Mm -hmm. So the only thing you need to do to make it uh or to to create a a polite request would be like could you please turn on the light would you please turn on the light would you mind turning on the light okay now read this part by your own right but don't don't read it in spanish okay would you turn down the light, please? Could you turn on the light, please? Would and could. There are some other polite questions in English, such as, do you think you could call her later? Yeah. Would, would you mind would you mind closing your microphone when when I'm explaining <laughs> the information 
Okay. Thank you. Could you please uh, turn off the microphone? Thank you. Now, do you think you could call her later? Do you think you could help me? These are also polite, right? Can I please have a cup of coffee? Can I? Now, this is a, a different one, right? This because in the PDF, uh, the student guide presents only two options, right? Like, would you mind and could? But over here, you see, uh, you can use also can. Can I please have a cup of coffee? Could I? Could I have a cup of coffee, please? Okay. You have. Would you mind? And this is something that I want you to. To clarify, I, I want to clarify because after mine, we have an EG, right? My, would you mind closing the door? Would you mind opening the wine, etc.? So after uh, after that, you're going to use an EG phone. There's a video, but we're not going to see it. Now, over here, we have a, a different way to request, like, do you mind if, and if you notice after this expression, we are going to use an infinity. Uh, do you mind if I ask you a question? But when you have, would you mind? You need ing form, ing. Now, what do we have here? Do you mind if? Now, what is this? This is the, the base form, right? It's, it's infinity. Okay. Yeah, do you do you mind? No, but the, the thing is that over here, we have do, not would you mind? And over mm -hmm. here, you see, would you, would? Yeah. Now, you need to be careful with this. Okay? Wow. So they are different. Do you mind if I, do you mind if is expression, but would you mind is a different one. Would you mind opening the window? Would you mind picking up some bread while you're at the shop. Do you mind if Pedro comes, simple present, with us? Do you mind if I leave early? So there are different structures and different expressions to, that we can create to request something in a very polite way. Okay, so I think I think we have a clearer idea. Uh, I shared this info, right? I shared this link. Uh, yeah, I did. I think I did, right? So, I don't know if somebody else wants to provide some uh, request, polite request over here. ¿Alguien más quiere compartir las frases que utilizan en sus trabajos para solicitar alguna ayuda, por ejemplo? Me, teacher. Ok. Eh, could you bring me the pupusa? And would you mind helping me to do the task? Would you mind rent me money? Rent, rent, renting me. <laughs> That's it.
teacher, el micrófono. Oh, I'm sorry, Otra vez I'm, I'm so sorry, sorry. That was my fault. Okay, so I hear Michael, Michael. Thank you, Michael. That was really nice. No. Oh, it was my fault. I'm sorry. So, as you can see, the way we use could and would you mind is quite important because we can create polite requests. Okay, it is different from saying, hey, call me later. Es diferente. Si, si le decimos a alguien así, es porque alguien es alguien de confianza, ¿verdad? Es un, un viejo amigo o alguien que pues no va a sentir pesado que solo le diga, llámame más tarde. Ah, pero si es alguien... Forma. Ajá, si en, en, lo mismo sucede en español, ¿o no? Sí, yes. usted, usted conoce a alguien o, o hay un, un ah. clima o un ambiente muy, de mucho respeto, no le dice, ahí me llamas más tarde vos. No, hey, what's up? Hey, le, sino que lo decimos ¿podría, podría llamarme más tarde ok o sería posible que me hablara como eso de las de la seis ah estamos siendo utilizando expresiones un poco con, con más amabilidad ¿Sí? sure could you make 10 copies of this paper right away could you contact the tech support no problem But now, on the other hand, esto sí lo quiero que les quede muy claro porque lo, lo estuvimos practicando, pero aquí ya lo dividen, miren. En dos, aquí tenemos con could, 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 could. could. Okay, no, nunca se pronuncia like could, no, could. Was. Lo mismo con esto, no, no decimos would, no, would. Would, could es informal, teacher. Could, this one. Es informal. No, that's very formal. Es que la, ambas expresiones son para, para este, solicitar algo de manera uh, polite, amable. Okay. Solo que la estructura cambia. Usted puede usar could or would you mind. Pero lo que tiene que estar claro es que cuando usan could, could. van a usar en el verbo la base. forma base. Pero cuando tengan would you mind, would you mind, miren cómo está el verbo. Calling. Vamos a, vamos a ver acá el verbo. Would you make? Would you mind getting? ¿Ve? Ahí estamos viendo la comparación. Could you contact? Sending. Okay, so that, that, is, that is like the main difference. Okay. Okay, now start a request with could you follow by one. Base form or ING form with could. Base, Base form, Base. right? Base. Of the main verb. Yeah. Any compliment, no. Fred? Tell me. Teacher, teacher, y con el do, do you mind? Uh, now that's different, right? Do you mind? ¿Cómo it's sería different. El verbo? Do you, but over there, as you can see, as you can see the information over here, Michael. We're going to get back here. It's not this one. When we have, do you mind? I, I think we have some examples here, right? Uh, the, the, the thing, over here, uh, Michael, is that if you use, do you mind? You need to include the if. Infinitive. 
plus infinitive. Now, but listen, I, I also want you to be clear uh, over here. In this case, para no entrar a detalle de por qué aquí dice infinitivo, dejémoslo como, a, como, como lo hemos venido viendo nosotros, que esto es forma base. ¿Ok? Porque yo les he enseñado que los infinitivos son así, ¿verdad? To ask. To ask. To ask. To play. Ok, entonces para no entrar en detalle, porque acá dice infinitivo, entonces este, dejémoslo como base. Entonces, Michael, la diferencia es that you have do you mind if I ask. Pero mire con would you mind. Ahí sí siempre va a ser ING form. Ok, Michael. No, yes, teacher. Entonces no. solo, solo agregar if y el verbo en su forma base. Exacto. That's the way it is. Okay. That's the way it is. Ok. Now. Answer to the request with could you are not normally. Yes, I could. Yes, I can. Answers to request with could you are not normally. Yes, I could. Or yes, I can. What do we have in the examples? Look at yeah. the examples. Look at the example. What did the person answer over here? Hey, could you call me later? Sure. Could you make 10 copies of this paper right away? Could you contact the tech support? No problem, okay? So you see. It's because they are quick decisions, right? Okay, so you can say that, sure, right away, no problem. Okay, the same with this sure, one. Right would, away, no problem. Yeah, would you mind calling the plant manager right away? Would you mind getting the appointment with the HR for me in a minute? Will you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Not a problem. Okay. So you don't normally say like, yes, I could, or yes, I can't. No, I mean, try to use different expressions. Like right away, in a moment. Okay, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it now, etc. Now, start a request, will, will you mind plus? The base form or the ing form? ing form. ing form of the main verb plus any complement phrase. The expected answer for the request with would you mind are not usually no, I would not mind, but are the actions that are, that are requested or short answers like the ones in the examples, okay? Now, cualquier respuesta podría ser aceptable ahí, profe. Yeah, but, but right away, uh, in a minute, or uh, uh, sure, etc. Right? Okay. Now, over here, I don't know if it is possible and if we still have some time, but we need to, we need to record a conversation, okay? We need to record a conversation. I don't know if it is possible to do it in, a, in pairs. And then you can share uh, the conversations in the WhatsApp group. ¿Será posible que podemos trabajar en, 
pareja para crear una conversación y subir la conversación en el grupo de WhatsApp. O trabajamos en grupos de tres. Creo que, creo que vamos a hacer siempre grupos de tres. Porque, bueno, hay, hay, hay algunos participantes que están de listeners. Okay, so we're gonna we're going to put into practice what we have learned so far. Okay, what are you going to do? You're going to record the conversation in your phone. Van a grabar la conversación y la van a compartir en el WhatsApp. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna work in trios, okay? We're going to spend like 10 minutes and then we are going to get back. 10 minutes. They, it needs to be very short. Tiene que ser, no, tiene que, no, no se vayan a, 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 a crear una conversación muy larga porque ya pues con esas dos frases podemos crear este, conversaciones cortas. Okay, here we go. Ten minutes, people.
Okay, okay, people. Okay, welcome back. I saw I saw some messages in the WhatsApp group. I don't know why, but that's why I, sometimes I don't like to create like like groups when when um, the internet is not working well. Okay, but fortunately we are back. And I don't know if there are some people who want to participate with the conversation. I did sir. <laughs> thank you, Fernando. Thank you. My who, partner, who did you work with? My partner is Aníbal. Okay, Aníbal. <laughs> Aníbal, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, are you ready? Aníbal, in your WhatsApp. Okay, okay. 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 Uh, good morning, Ivan. Aníbal. Aníbal. <laughs> <laughs> morning is a hot theater. You told me. When you buy opening the window so the the air enter? Uh, sure, no problem. Would you mind showing that no, would you mind showing me the way to short? Sure, usually in, on Friday. So let's teach it because no, no a mi me sacó de del Zoom. Oh, okay, Aníbal. Okay, Fernando. I'm sorry to know about it. Okay, uh, but when when it happens for me, it's it's quite quite difficult to help you, right? Tuvimos problemas con conexión. Okay, now I think Merlin wants to participate. Is that right, Merlin? Hi, teacher. Hi, Merlin. Um, are, are you ready? More or less. <laughs> okay. Uh, la leemos, Gladys. I... Gladys. Sí. Okay, go ahead. Ahí, ahí está en el Hola. chat. Uh, mm. No, espérame. Vaya. Um, uh, I, I start, Gladys. Empezaste. Hello, Gladys. How are you? Hello, Marmi. I'm fine. And you? Uh, I'm fine. Um, could you call me in, in two minutes? Sure. Okay. Mm. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Gladys. Um, are you going to training tomorrow? I will. I will. Um, uh, would you mind riding me with you? Yes. Yes, I either. Teacher. Okay, okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Only that, teacher. Okay, good <laughs> participation. Okay. Now when you ask some somebody to, to pick to, to, to take you so, somewhere, if you will say, Would you mind taking me to the cinema? Te importaría llevarme al cine. Or would you mind um, taking me to the supermarket? Okay. Uh, taking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Merlin. Thank you, Gladys. Is there any other, uh, are there any other participants who want to share conversation? Well, if you if 
let's see, I don't know. Well, Aidan, I don't see him. Michael, did you do you have your conversation? Perfect, perfect. Almost, okay, so. Who do you work with, Michael? Teacher. Yeah, who did you work with? Uh, with uh, Ronan and I don't remember the other, the other partner. Okay, and uh, is Ronan ready? Mm, I worked alone. Are you worked alone? Uh, yes. Uh, my my partners are listen listen listeners tonight listeners okay do you want to uh, share what you got michael uh, yes my conversation say hi bro would you mind going with me at the concert uh, he say me no bro i don't have time i could I could you have an accident in the road <laughs> and I say, <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, don't worry. Do you mind rent me your bus for a excursion, please? He say me, okay, right away. Okay. Uh, right away right away okay thank you okay listen well i think uh, we can we can create uh, many conversations with those two expressions and it would be really nice if you continue practicing especially the gladys uh, no especially especially everything that we have uh, been studying lately okay porque si ustedes se dan cuenta, digamos, hemos, hemos estudiado, esta semana fue muy, muy importante porque, bueno, hemos venido estudiando voz pasiva, que es algo que debemos acostumbrarnos a, a crear oraciones, a, a identificar cuando algo está en, en activo, en pasivo. ¿Verdad? o cómo convertir una oración de activo a pasivo o viceversa, pues es, es muy importante que lo estemos practicando y estudiando. ¿Ok? Lo otro también, pasado simple, muy importante, y ahí solo ahí tenemos como, digamos, dos tareas un poquito fuertes, porque hay, hay que... Crear oraciones, hay que investigar ejemplos, hay que poner en práctica lo estudiado y este, eso es lo que lleva tiempo. Lo mismo con pasado simple. Eh, vimos los verbos regulares, la pronunciación. Ahora descubrimos que todavía tenemos debilidades respecto a cómo pronunciar verbos regulares. Entonces hay que fortalecerlo, hay que fortalecer eso, esa práctica. Eh, estudiamos también un poco de presente simple, estuvimos con preguntas abiertas y pues yo creo que con presente simple ya es, es mínimo las debilidades que tenemos, porque si ustedes se recuerdan, basic, eh, presente simple lo venimos estudiando desde básico 1. Ok. Y se ha venido eh, la... la, la se ha venido estudiando desde las oraciones positivas, negativas, preguntas cerradas, preguntas abiertas. Hemos venido estudiando mucho el presente simple. ¿Ok? Ahora, pues, el pasado hay que continuar estudiándolo y al mismo tiempo hay que ir como amarrando, ya que estamos viendo los verbos en pasado, en la tablita hay que empezar a aprenderse los verbos en pasado participio. Porque si ustedes se dan cuenta, en, en voz pasiva lo necesitamos. ¿Verdad? Necesitamos el pasado participio de los verbos, no el pasado simple. 
Entonces, solo en eso sí tenemos mucha tarea. Que... Por eso decidí no, no asignarles tareas este, este fin de semana. Porque tiene suficiente con el hecho de aprenderse muchos verbos. No, le pongo, no me gusta ponerle número a, a, a decir este fin de semana se van a aprender 50 verbos. No. Yo digo, siempre digo, tratemos de aprender muchos verbos. Porque a lo mejor uno se, alguien se aprende más de 50. ¿Verdad? No, siento yo que no es correcto decirle apréndanse 50 verbos este fin de semana, sino que ustedes pónganle un número de verbos, ¿verdad? Pero dediquémonos ahorita a enriquecer vocabulario. Más adelante les va a servir eso, ya no van a estar eh, pensando en, 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 en el significado de los verbos ni de la pronunciación o de la forma, en, si, si es irregular, cómo es la forma en pasado o pasado participio. Eso ayuda muchísimo para los niveles que se aproximan. Así que les dejo prácticamente esa, esas tareas y espero verlos el día lunes. ¿Okay? Por favor, si todavía hay alguien que está pendiente con actividades de midterm, ¿okay? de la evaluación de la segunda semana, háganla y pues también cumplir con las actividades de la segunda semana. La otra semana ya entramos a semana 3 y ya prácticamente pues estaríamos, después de esa semana estaríamos cerrando ya el nivel. Ok, así que por favor ayúdenme con eso para yo poder reportar los avances que ustedes han tenido en, la, en estas clases. Si no hay preguntas, comentarios... Si hay comentarios, preguntas. Yo tengo una. Teacher. Merlin, dígame. Eh, a ver, según yo y en mis cuentas, he venido haciendo las tareas, pero como me estoy, eh, como he tenido que estar como conociendo la plataforma, ¿Sí? entonces no sé si se me habrá quedado algo por ahí. Mm, si gusta, o al menos lo... el, el, Ajá. el mil. El, el examen o la ¿cómo le llama? mi term sí, el mi term sí, permítame, según yo ya lo completé permítame, vamos a ver Merlin ha completado todo hasta la fecha. Ah, va. Tiene el 100% en todo. Va. Pues, okay. Gracias. Okay. Puede dormir a gusto. No, por favor. <ríe> hey, have a nice weekend. Si no hay alguien más con alguna, con alguna pregunta o algo en que les pueda ayudar. Si no, pues. Nos vemos el día lunes, que descansen el fin de semana, lo tienen muy, bueno. muy bien merecido, ¿ok? Estudien también. <risa> Good night, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Good night, people. See you night. on Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Happy weekend, partners. Thank you.